All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. Yahweh being the only Heavenly Father that truly exists. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai means the, uh, is the only begotten Son that everybody ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Uh, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. They rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there that are pushing this truth and sincerity. I was in charity, man. Shalom, Akiyam. So we come in our, uh, another lesson inspired by the Rock of Gadash, the Holy Spirit that works within the hopeful elect, rightly dividing the word of truth, man. So this is the brother Yawakanam from the GMS uh, Des Moines camp, and I'm also um, here with the brother Malaki. And uh, we're here through the Spirit, man, in our lunch break, and uh, um, <coughs> and we basically want to talk about the great multitude it talks about in Revelation the seventh chapter, man. So nevertheless, we can get started, man. Let's get um. <clears throat> this is um. Uh... This is the book of Revelations, chapter 7 and verse 9. Uh, kind of, it says, After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hand, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. Con, con. I mean, and uh, I have a precept with that as well. Uh, Second Ezra uh, 2 and 40, it's just basically how Ezra saw the same vision that John the Revelator saw, man. So it says, Second Ezra um, 2 and 40, take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white. Right, so it's talking about the same thing and talk about in, uh, in um, Revelations, the seventh chapter. It says, "Which have fulfilled the law of the Most High." And who's the law given to, man? It's only given to the Israelites, the so-called Native Americans, Hispanics, and, and so-called Negroes, man. Those are the true uh, um, biblical um, Israelites. Israelites that uh, speak about in the scriptures, man. You know, and it says, um, "Let's actually <laughs> let's actually get that. Let's go down on uh, Second Ezra. We we'll come back to that um, forty verse. It says." Um, um, it says, Second Ezra 2 and 32, or is there any other people that hath knoweth thee besides Israel? Or what generation has so believed the covenants as Jacob, man? You know, the, there's there's no other there's no other nation uh, given, uh, you know, these law session commandments, like it says in Psalms 147, man. It talks about how, um, can we actually get that real quick just for, <sighs> Talakia, bear with us real quick. Right, because even in Deuteronomy, uh, uh, you know, it says what? That the Lord had chosen thee to be a special uh, a nation, you know? God. Above all, all nations on the face of the earth, man. He chose the Israelites, like the brother said, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you know? Uh, would you want in Psalms 147? Uh, in 19, uh, I believe. Um, yeah. Con. Uh This is Psalms 147 and 19. It says, He showed with his word unto Jacob's and his statues and judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any other nation. He had not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yah, Basham, Yah, Shai. That's straight to the point, man. You're not going to get around that precept, man. Who, who, who is Jacob? He was later turned into, uh, um, his name turned into Israel, man. And those descendants of the Negroes, uh, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, there's no way around that, man. The Lord changes not, like it says in Malachi, the fourth chapter. He changes not, you know? Um, go ahead. Right, so, you know, that, that that's the point, uh, uh, harping back on the point of this lesson. Going into this great multitude, man, because what you have these certain Christians, uh, Christian pastors and certain different other Christians out here that believe that salvation is uh, not only pertaining unto Israel, but uh, that it's open unto these other nations. You know, they, they understand or, or they'll come to accept that, OK, well, the 144,000 uh, prophets are going to be Israelites. But what hey, it says, great multitude out of every kindred, tongue and nation. You know, the brother was beautifully going into into that second Ezra. And even in that Revelation seven and nine, it tells us what that they were they were clothed uh, here. Let me go back to Salakia. Revelation seven and nine. I'll read, I'll reread it. It says, After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb and were clothed with white robes. You know, in, in both of these uh, precepts, it, it's talking about the white robes and, and who was clothed with those robes, man. Like the brother said, he, uh, 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 I just reread that precept for you. Just, yeah, just, just that letter part. Where it says, uh, Second Edges 2 and um, I, could, I will start at 40. Take thy number of Zion and shut up. Those that are are clothed in white, right? Zion and 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 Zion speaking about what? Hey, Israel, you know, uh, Zion going back to the to the Hebrew word to Zion, you know, the monument uh, of Yahweh Shem Yahshai, man, which is which is Israel. 
Okay, go ahead. It says, which have fulfilled in the law of the Most High Yahweh, the number of thy children who thou uh, longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord Yahweh that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. Right, the, the, thy people, you know. But again, go going into it said what are clothed in white, man. Uh, when you go into Psalms, it says that. Uh, well, he, he, even uh, I believe it's Isaiah, you know, Salaki, if I'm mistaken, but it says, uh, 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 arise and, and put on thy beautiful garments, you know? It's that, Isaiah. Con. And then in Revelations, it says uh, that the righteousness, uh, damn, I, I had it earlier, Salakia. Um, well, you look like you want me to bring this out real quick? Just I have a little bit more something on this. Con, boy. It says 2nd Ezra uh, 2 and 42. I, Ezra, right? This is the same vision that Ezra saw, right? It says, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. It says, and they all praise the Lord Jehovah with songs, man. What is that song? Is this beautiful uh, song, man, the, the, having the knowledge of the scriptures, man? This is the song, man, that the Lord has gave on to us, man. You know, that's the normal mutant what it's talking about in Revelation, the seventh chapter. It says, unnumerable, so they can't number, right? And this goes right into it, man. But you found that? Come Revelation yeah, 19 and 8. It says, and to her, uh, let me see if I can start a little bit ahead. Revelations. Can, or can you pull it up? Revelation 19. 19 and 8. <clears throat> it says, Revelation 19, con, 19 and 8. Uh, it says, I could, I could start at seven. Let us be glad and rejoice and give him honor for the marriage of the lamb has come and his wife hath made herself ready. Right. The wife speaking about the uh, uh, the children of Israel, man. You know, it says bid them to the marriage. You know, we were commanded to go out and preach our people and preach to our people. You know, go ahead. it says and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Right. The hey, the, the the white linen is the righteous the uh, is the righteousness of the saints, man. And according to Psalms, uh, one hundred and forty eight chapter, it says what he he exalted the horn of his people, yea, even the children of Israel, man. You know, speaking about the children of Israel, those saints being the Israelites, man. You know, so when it's talking about this innumerable multitude which he saw clothed in, in white garments, you know, in, in righteousness, you know, being pure, it's speaking about uh, speaking about Israelites, man, not not these other nations. Con, you, you go ahead. It says Isaiah uh, 52 and 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem. So, right, so uh, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, man. You know? So it's not saying, oh, we're going to go put over Israel a big brute. No, man, it's talking about the people, man. You know, and it says, O Jerusalem, the holy city, for henceforth thou shalt no more come unto thee, the uncircumcised and the unclean, mm -hmm. man. So it's talking about specific, that innumerable, um, innumerable number. It's talking about the Israelites, man. Right. You know? And to further prove that, it says what? Uh, uh, the, innumer uh, the innumerable multitude, you know, or the great multitude. Uh, you know, this is Hosea, the book of Hosea, chapter 1 and verse 10. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just start at 10, right to the point. It says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. Okay? <clears throat> so what? Hey, hey, going back to that innumerable multitude, man, hey, it's plainly telling us that the children of Israel we're going to be like the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. Innumerable, right? But even within that, you know, uh, with, with, with the salvation, hey, that's only speaking about one third of our people, man. You know, because uh, uh, come, go, go, go ahead, bring it out, man. Because uh, uh, like the scripture says, man, yo, we'll, ju we'll just bring it out. It says Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in the all the land, said the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined. And I will try them as gold is tried. They shall, uh, they shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord Yahweh is my power. Right. So just like we were reading in that Hosea where it was said unto them, uh, ye are not the children of the most high. There it shall be said, ye are the sons of the living power, man. Why? Because in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves according to the book of Baruch, you know, according to prophecy, man. So, hey, uh, uh, this is specifically speaking of the children of Israel that, that <laughs> repent and that come back, man. You know? <laughs> I got one real quick. It says, uh, Ecclesiasticus, uh, known as Sirach, 
uh, 17 and 10. And the elect shall pray his holy name. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an inheritance, man. You know, simple as that, man. It's all about the elect, man. You know, saying that no multitude, man. But it's all about the elect, man. You know. Con, jumping back into, uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 63. It says, <clears throat> it says, and it shall come to pass. Right. So, so what? Hey, Deuteronomy, this is Moses giving the laws unto who? The children of Israel. Right. So verse 63, it says, uh, well, let me, let me see if I could. Oh, actually, that's way up there, you know, but this is going into the curses, man, for being disobedient against the heavenly father. So uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 63, it says, and it shall come to pass that as Yahweh rejoice over you to do to, uh, Salakia over you to do you good and to multiply you. So Yahweh will rejoice over you to destroy you and bring you to naught, and ye shall be plucked off from the land, whether thou goest to possess it and Yahweh. The, and the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people, right? Just like we were reading through the, uh, all nations, all kindreds, right? It says the Lord shall scatter thee amongst all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations thou shalt find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but Yahweh shall give thee a trembling heart and filling of eyes and sorrow of mind. You know, so what? Hey, we were scattered amongst these, uh, 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 amongst these heathen, man. You know, like it says, uh, uh, you know, I'll just get it real quick. Were you holding something in here? Uh, -uh. -uh. You know, in the book of uh, 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 Tobit, in the Apocrypha, Tobit 13 and 3, it, it, it says, uh, uh, confess him, you know, here, I, I got this right here. This is the book of Tobit, chapter 13 and verse 3. It says, Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. Right? So, <laughs> hey, hey, through our disobedience uh, 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 for, uh, of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, hey, he scattered us amongst, the, amongst these, uh, these other heathens, man. You know? Yeah, of course. I mean, I got another precept just to, just, you know, just to feed off on that. It says, Jeremiah uh, <clears throat> 50 and 17. Israel is a scattered sheep. Right, Israel. Okay. It says the lions have driven him away. First, the king of Assyria has devoured them, and the, the last, this Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, has broken his bones. Man, you know. But <clears throat> but further down on here, we could read down on that. It says therefore, this said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, at the Most High of Israel, behold, I will punish the king of Babylon and his land, and I have punished the king. Uh, of Assyria, and I mm -hmm. will bring Israel again to his habitation. It says again. It's not talking about every nation. It says Israel again, man. You know, to his habitation, and he shall feed on uh, uh, Carmel and Bashan, and his soul shall be satisfied about Mount Ephraim and Gilead, man. You know, it's mm -hmm. only talking about Israel, man. I have an, uh, unless you got something, I got something real quick. We got uh, Jeremiah 32. Con, go ahead with that. This is <clears throat> Jeremiah. Chapter 32 and verse 36, okay? Because hey, hey, as the brother just read in Jeremiah 50, it says Israel was a scattered sheep, right? So uh, Jeremiah 32, hey, and and, and and hey, man, our shepherd came, man. Who did it, who, who, who's, who's the shepherd coming for, man? He came for his lambs, you know, the scattered sheep, okay? But Israel, uh, uh, Israel, Jeremiah 32 and 36, it says, Now therefore, thus said Yahweh, power of Israel, concerning this city, Whereof ye say it shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword and by and by the famine and by the pestilence. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries, whether I have driven them in my anger. Right. All the countries where I have driven them in my anger. Anger from what? From being disobedient uh, 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 unto the law, statutes and commandments, man, unto the covenant. OK, it says. Um. Whether I have driven them in my anger and in my fury and in great wrath and will bring them again Ooh. unto this place and will cause them to dwell safely and they shall be my people and I will be their power and I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear my <laughs> that they may fear me forever for the good of them and of their children after them. OK, you know, and, and, and that's the point, man. You know, uh, again, only speaking about the children of Israel being scattered 
uh, 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 in these different nations, in these different kindreds. And with that breeds what, man? In different tongues. You know, you got brothers all over the world, man. You got brothers in, in uh, West Africa. You got brothers in Mexico. You got brothers in Spain. Uh, you know, uh, you might have some, some brother, uh, 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 what, Denmark, you know. Hey, all, all these other places, man. You know, there might be, uh, there could be brothers in Brazil speaking Portuguese, man. You know, all these are different tongues, man. Different tongues, different nations that these brothers, well, uh, you know, through the spirit, uh, you know, Lord's willing, we all part of the, uh, that, that elect, you know. That what, man? They're, they're going to be brought up out of those certain places. That's why it's saying that this great multitude, you know, well, well, you know, first and foremost, we're praying, we're praying and hoping to be part of the elect. But within this great multitude is what? Hey, women and children, man, because there's going to be women and children that are believing, you know, but 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 even even within the prophets, you know, the 144,000. Yeah, they have the tribe of Israel, but hey, they could be scattered in a different land, man. You know, I got a quick one for you. It says uh, Hosea 8 and 8, Israel swallowed up. Now shall they be among the Gentiles mm. as a vessel, a vessel wherein is no pleasure, man. They're going to be in, uh, you know, they're going to be within the Gentiles, man. Because Israel was scattered. But it goes back to the Deuteronomy. But I got another, uh, another quick one real quick for you. This is, this is John 7 and, uh, give me a second, so I'll here. 7 and um, <clears throat> 35. Then said the Jews... Uh, among themselves, whither ye uh, will ye go, that we shall not find him? We will go um, unto the dispersed among the Gentiles will and teach. Go? Will he go, Salakia? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? Let's talk about. Go ahead. Right. So, so they were like, "What, man? Hey, well, where, where's your how? Where's your how? Shai gonna go to where we we ain't gonna be able to find him, man? Is he gonna go into the Gentiles and preach the dispersed that are among the <laughs> the Gentiles?" Because what <coughs> our people from going off, man, serving these other idols, they were they were considered as Gentiles, man. You know, they weren't considered uh, uh, to, to, to be Jews, you know, to, to, to be part in that covenant anymore. Why? Be, be, because they saw them as not a people. That's why it said in that Hosea, hey, where there was called unto them, where it was said unto them, you are not my people. They're, they're going to be called the children of the living power, you know, because they're being brought back. You know, the gospel of reconciliation, re again, uh, con uh, 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 con concilios, you know, conciliation to, to make friendly again, man. You know, because what? Hey, this is this is the gospel of peace, man. You know, uh, uh, we're, 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 we're bringing them back. Well, not us, but we're being used as vessels through the spirit to bring these people back to their power. OK, because they're being brought back. You know, Yahweh Shai only pay for uh, uh, for the blood of the children of Israel, man. He didn't pay for the blood of the Moab. Uh, he didn't pay for the children of Moab. He didn't uh, he he, uh, he didn't pay for 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 the children of Edom. You know, that, that that's a bunch of madness, man. That's some bullshit. You know, he came to redeem his people. That's why in the book of Matthew, it says, call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people, man. You know, in Galatians 4, uh, it tells you specifically that he came to redeem them that were under the laws. Like the brother brought out earlier, the only ones that the laws were given to were the children of Israel, man. So, it's, it, it, hey, man, it's about time we start we stop with this nonsense, man. These damn Christians, they ain't got nothing. They got they can't they they can't resist this word, man. There ain't nothing that they can say against this word, man. All they can do is keep lying. But hey, man, it's all gonna come to not soon. You know, <laughs> this is fire. I got this Ezekiel 36. Oh, I had it right. Uh, yeah. We'll start at 17, Ox. It's 17. Con. <laughs> man, I'm so lucky, but it is whole, you know, it says, uh, Son of man, where the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Uh, their way was before me in the uncleanness of a uh, removed woman. Right. And what were those doings? They going off serving these other idols, sacrificing their children, you know, do uh, take, take them part after the, after the way of the heathen. Therefore, I pour out my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and their idols wherewith they have polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings. I judged them. And when they entered onto the heathen where they went, it says, they profane my holy name when they said to them, these are the people of the Lord Yahweh and are gone forth out of his land, man. So they acknowledge, they acknowledge, hey, these are the people, man. 
These are the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? It says, But I had pity for mine holy name, which is the house of Israel, has profaned among the heathen, whither they went. Yep. Therefore said the uh, unto the house of Israel, Thus said the Lord Yahweh thy power, I do this not for your sake, O house of Israel, but my name, uh, my holy name's sake, Salakia, which she profaned among the heathen, whither you went. Right. Here's the point. I will sanctify my... Uh, like sanctify right my great name which profane among the heathen which she have profaned in the midst of them and the heathen shall know that i am the lord yahweh saith the uh saith the lord yahweh power when i shall be sanctified in you in you before their eyes for i will uh, take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries i will bring you into your own land oh that sounds like that revelations it Woo! says that uh, every nation, every tongue, every kindred, <laughs> man, you know? Man, this 36 is fire, man. Yeah. <laughs> I got one more. Uh, you know, yeah. so, so that's a point, you know? Uh, but kind of, you know, let's get through these last ones, uh, you know, because we over our break now. So Con, con. <laughs> Lord's will, everything goes smooth. We'll get that. Uh, got that axe. I'll get that axe real quick. Just a little punch him in the gut, like they'd say. Uh, it says axe um, two and five. It says, and there, uh, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Bro. How are you gonna, how are you gonna get across from that, man? You know, but that was a little, uh, that was just a little gut puncher, like they say. Um, but I think the brother got one more to go, and hopefully, um, um, that's the last. If we don't have anything, to the spirit, man. You know, I'll, I'll start at Revelations. You know, get through it quick. It's Revelations five and. Four, it says, and I wept much because there was no man. You can start driving back, though. And I wept okay. much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. You know, because at one point, this knowledge was sealed, man. Okay. Waiting for pairing. Is it going to pair to your... No, no, it's not. Okay. And it says, um, to look thereon. Verse 5, and one of the elders said unto me, weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, talking about Yahweh Shai. <laughs> <clears throat> have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the Most High, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four twenty elders uh, fell down before the lamb having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors which are the prayers of the saints okay verse 9 and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof for thou was slain and has redeemed us right Ooh. speaking of uh, 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 who uh, the, the Israelites thou has redeemed us to our power by the blood <laughs> Salakia, by thy blood out of every kindred Damn. and tongue and people and nation and thou has made us unto our power kings and priests we shall reign on the earth you know and who was that <laughs> given to man the children of israel the a nation of king and priests that's man. back in exodus man <clears throat> you know because we were discontinued from our heritage at a point in time but well, hey what hey through the blood of yahweh through the blood of yahweh we, we've been brought back unto our heritage man unto our true identity you know but hey, look, you know, Lord, Lord's willing. <clears throat> that was edifying, you know. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone that teaches us truth and that do rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the brothers kicking this word in truth and sincerity, always in charity. To the next time, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom. Ba -ba 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 -ba.